Hey guys, welcome back to T-Bone Tech. In today's video, we are going to be comparing the Canon 50mm f1.4 against the Canon 85mm f1.8. So first off, we're going to talk about focal lengths and what each one of these lenses is best for. The 50mm lens I find on a full frame 35mm camera to be an absolutely fantastic all around lens. It's great if you're taking portraits of a whole bunch of different people, it's wide enough to be able to get about 4 or 5 people in a shot while still getting some really nice looking bokeh. It's an absolutely great walking around lens to take pictures of a lot of different subjects. 50 millimeters is really my go-to focal length on a 35 millimeter full frame camera. Now for portraits, the Canon 85 millimeter f1.8 is absolutely great for taking pictures of one or two people at most. On a full frame camera, the 85 millimeter lens is definitely the way to go if you're shooting portraits. If you are shooting head and shoulder shots with a 50 millimeter lens, you're going to have to get really close up to your subject. It's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable Comfortable. And the average person would rather you stand a little bit further back, but standing further back is not going to give you the exact background that you're looking for. Where 85 millimeters is definitely the focal length that you want to take when you're taking portraits, or even longer than 85 millimeters for a really good head and shoulder portrait. I absolutely love using an 85 millimeter lens. You can get absolutely beautiful looking background blurs. The 50 millimeter focal length is much more usable in a lot of different situations. Like I said, you can take portraits of this lens if you have to. And it's also great and extremely sharp for taking tons of different types of photography. Where the 85 millimeter lens on the other hand is really just meant for taking portraits in my opinion. The focus ring on the 85 millimeter lens is extremely smooth and feels very nice. And now it also feels very nice on a brand new version of the Canon 50 millimeter f1.4. However, a lot of people are complaining that this lens when used for a year or two years gets very sticky and isn't quite as smooth over time. And it doesn't seem like we have those complaints coming from people with an 85 millimeter lens. The Canon 85 millimeter lens also focuses internally. So when you focus with this lens, uh, the front element is not going to extend, but on this Canon Canon 50mm f1.4, when you focus, the front element is going to extend. As far as aperture brightness, the 50mm f1.4 is two thirds of a stop faster than the 85mm f1.8. Both these lenses do have focus distance indicators on them, which comes in really handy. And both these lenses do have all metal backs, which makes these lenses feel very premium. As far as overall image quality and sharpness goes, the Canon 85mm f1.8 is about one megapixel sharper than the Canon 50 millimeter. And it's not going to make a big difference at all, but I have to say the 85 millimeter lens is definitely just a little bit sharper than this Canon 50 millimeter lens on a full frame camera or on an APS-C camera. As far as weight and size goes, the 85 millimeter lens is definitely heavier than the Canon 50 millimeter lens, and it is also definitely bigger, but both of these lenses are definitely not heavy at all, and you're really not going to have an issue with these lenses getting heavy over time. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of portrait photographers would choose an 85 millimeter lens over a Canon 70 to 200 f2.8. That lens is extremely heavy and big and bulky. A lot of them would rather handle a smaller 85 millimeter lens. And the smaller 85 millimeter f1.8 lens is actually over a full stop brighter than a Canon 70 to 200 f2.8 lens. But now it's time to get into the sample pictures where I show you guys side by side photos shot with both these lenses on APS-C cameras and on full frame cameras. First up is the Canon 50 millimeter f1.4 lens and we are shooting it with a full frame Canon 6D. So this lens with a full frame Canon 6D, we're going to have to get a little bit uncomfortably close to our subject to get a proper head and shoulders picture of our subject here. And next, of course, we have here is the Canon 85mm f1.8 lens and a full frame Canon 6D. Now this lens is definitely designed more for portraiture and I'm gonna demonstrate why. This lens is going to give us a longer focal reach, which means that we can actually stand back here to get the same head and shoulders portrait that we got with our Canon 50mm f1.4 lens. Now that we swapped out the full frame Canon 60 for a APS-C size Canon 80D, we have the 50 millimeter f1.4 lens on this body, and now we're going to be ready to take pictures of our subject here. This 50 millimeter lens is going to give us a full frame equivalent of 80 millimeters, so basically about that 85 millimeter lens. So because of that, we're going to be able to step a little bit further away from our subject with this lens on the APS-C camera to be able to get the exact same head and shoulder shot that we did with a full frame camera. So standing about right here, I can fit his full head and shoulders in the frame. So we're just gonna snap this picture. 
And there we go, an absolutely incredible looking portrait with this lens on an APS-C camera. Next up, we're going to pop on the 85mm lens on this APS-C body. Now we have this 85mm f1.8 lens mounted to the Canon 80D body. And again, we're going to shoot a head and shoulders portrait with this camera. All right, now we have this 85 millimeter F1.8 lens mounted to our Canon 80D, and this lens is going to have a 35 millimeter equivalent of 136 millimeters. So now to get the same head and shoulders picture with our subject standing exactly where he's been the entire time, I'm actually going to have to stand all the way back here to get that same head and shoulders portrait. So we're just going to snap this picture. And I really hope that this demonstrates the different focal lengths and the crop factors when using these lenses with an APS-C camera. Basically from this, we can tell that if we're shooting with an APS-C camera, we're probably going to want to stick with a 50 millimeter lens for portraits and on a full frame camera, we're going to want to use this 85 millimeter lens. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll catch you all in the next one.